Hi, my name is Gordon McKenzie, and I'm going to show you a way to paint the illusion of looking through water. In this case, you're going to be looking straight down to the bottom, and you'll probably be able to see the shafts of light descending into the depths around you. I'm going to start by giving my piece of paper a solid wash of the color of the water, as it were, or the color of the bottom. This is a mixture of cobalt blue, burnt sienna, and sap green. I don't want this to be graded in any way, so I'm going to go in both directions to make sure that it's fairly well distributed. Now, you may have noticed that I have some lines in the bottom for rocks, just as a rough guide because now I want to mix up some a darker form of those same colors that I used. Sap green, cobalt blue, and burnt sienna. And start defining the edges of some of those rocks that are in the water, simply by going around them, like so. Sometimes I make the line that goes around them wide, sometimes I make it thin. This helps establish for me, in my mind, the objects that are on the bottom of this pond that I'm looking into. These are the cracks between the rocks. You'll notice that I'm putting most of the emphasis in the central part of the picture. And I'm trying to vary the shape and the size and arrangement of these boulders or rocks in the bottom. Once this is done, I'm going to take another damp brush this time and start working out from the center or the focal point that I want, which would be right in about here. Uh, with the edge of the brush, I can lift off paint that would suggest shafts of light. I don't have to make them long, some can be short. But essentially, I'm, I'm, I'm setting up some lines into the picture. Make sure your brush is just damp, you don't want to drop water. Now once I have an arrangement that I like, then I'm going to let this dry because what I have to do is come back in and redefine the rocks in the bottom around the focal point. I've mixed up uh, a more concentrated form of the colors that uh, were used for the initial wash and I'm going to use those to redefine and create the sharper edges on the pebbles and boulders at the bottom of my pond here. What I'm doing essentially is I'm painting the cracks between the rocks again and I'm going to soften the edges ever so slightly to help around those shapes. I'm not worried about uh, the fact that I might cross one of these uh, light lines, shafts of light. I can very easily lift it off after if necessary. Soften the edges.
I'm using a small bristle brush to fade out these colors because it holds a lot of moisture and lets it out slowly. Now mind you, the brush is damp, but it doesn't drop moisture as a synthetic wood, synthetic brush would. It just spreads out the moisture thinly, uniformly, so that the color will fade out nicely for me. The wonderful thing about doing this is you're just simply creating images of rocks out of nothing. It's just uh, by painting around the edges, essentially painting in the negative, you are creating shapes in the positive. Now I'm going to add a few more colors to my water for interest's sake, just to liven this picture up a bit. I've mixed up some pure cobalt blue and I'm going to start with that and I'm going to follow the lines of the shafts of light. This helps add a little more interest. Also going to try just a touch of raw sienna. Which can warm things up a bit. gives the impression that there's more than one color to the rocks that are underneath. Now, now all I have to add in here is some form of center of interest. And I'm thinking of a couple of uh, small fish or minnows, and I'm going to let this dry before I do that, though. For my minnows, I've mixed up some of the same color that I used in the cracks between the rocks. And I'm going to paint them in as much as possible with single strokes. I'm going to start at the head of the minnow, put my brush down full well, and draw back and then taper to the tail. Now, this is, while this is still wet. I'm just going to add a little bit more paint. While this is still wet, I want to take a piece of paper towel and just simply blot some of it to give the impression that there's light striking the fish. I've got one there. How about another one over in here? And one more. Now, I'm going to go back with a little bit more paint. And just add a few eyes to the side of them. And so, in summary, to create this illusion of looking into the water, you start first with a solid wash of color. You create the images of the boulders and the rocks in the bottom, and while that is still wet, lift back some strokes of light. When that is dry, you go back in and redefine the edges of the rocks here and there. Let it dry, add more color, more strokes of color into the center. Let that dry, paint in your minnows and let it dry.